Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to intelligently uh, back up your music files, photos uh, or other bigger files that you can just upload to the internet uh, via uh, free uh, backup services. Um, for this you I'll use SyncToy. Uh, you can search for SyncToy on Google. It's from Microsoft so it's safe and uh, I'm using uh, 2.1. Um, first off you need to set up SyncToy uh, you do that, I'll be showing you how to do that you open it up and you create a new folder pair and uh, these two folder pairs are going to be synchronized so let's say I want to synchronize uh, my music on this my music folder on this uh, computer and another folder on my network, my network computer just select it here uh, Yes, and then uh, let's say my music here, and then you press next, and you want you have these different uh, options. You can uh, synchronize, echo, and contribute. You can read the short explanation. This one was just only uh, synchronize new and updated files, and they are deleted both ways. So files deleted on the other will also be deleted on this one. So be careful. But I use synchronize. Uh, for this, so uh, yes, press next and give it a name. And this name you have to remember, or you can just see it here. So I already have mine, so I won't create it. Next up, you want to uh, you want to sh uh, set up a shell do task, so you don't always have to get in the program and uh, start it manually. Um, you uh, start up your scheduled task uh, this is in Danish so you just type in scheduled in your, on your English uh, uh, PC uh, this it's called uh, okay so this will open up the this window and it's probably a bit different on Vista or XP um, you select uh, create Basis, basic task. I think it is. Give it a name. I'm just gonna give it a few. I'm not gonna actually create it. And then you can select how often you want this to run. I say daily, or you can do it. Uh, if you just want to do it manually, you can set it to uh, never. Or I think uh, when the last one here. But let's just set it to daily and how many times you want it to repeat. Um, then select start a program, and you want to uh, choo to uh, choose the the sync toy. So go to your programs, sync toy, um, but choose the sync toy cmd.exe, and uh, then here. Let me see. I just wrote it down you add the arguments uh, space hyphen r or you can th that just uh, runs all your folders but if you have more and you don't want to run them all you can type in uh, by quoting your the name of the folder which was in my case it's Danish but yes you can just type r remember the the little space here uh, in front of it and then just press next and uh, and make it um, then will it will be you'll be able to see it in here and uh, just scroll down and find it I have mine right here so what you want to do is that of course it, it runs every day but if you don't want it really to run Every day, let's say uh, you accidentally delete all your music on one computer, and you don't want it to uh, suddenly start. Uh, you can just uh, uh, select it to stop, but still have it in here. And uh, by doing this, you can uh, create a shortcut for the task to put on your desktop, so you can manually decide when you will write to, r to run this. So 
just uh, right click on the desktop where you want to create the shortcut new shortcut and uh, then here type in uh, go to window system uh, system and this I'll just uh, type this in the description as well and uh, the task name is of course the task name of your that you put in in here and that was sync toy music sync toy music right and press I think it was that and press next and give it a proper name like that okay so now whenever I want to um, sync these two PCs that with the folder if I get new albums or anything I just open this and it will start the process um, I think that's about it if you have any problems with it please uh, ask I'll try to answer it um, yes let me just see here if it works yeah it will show you this short screen uh, saying what was uh, changed uh, fortunately I can't show you because I can't jump to the other screen but uh, let me just try anyway to go to music I have this uh, little file here I'll name it uh, 123 and uh, this oh, this uh, is in my music that I my music folder that I currently uh, work with so one two three and I'll run this and uh, of course you can see but I'll my other computer open the same folder that I synced and to see if if, if that file name uh, appears so just give it a sec here okay yeah and my on my other computer it says one two three so uh, I wish I could show you but you have to believe me alright thanks guys